Darwin's Evolution, The Development of a Humanoid Robot by Carl Muick and Dennis Hall. A general humanoid research platform is being developed at Romella, the Robotics and Mechanisms Lab at Virginia Tech, to study bipedal locomotion, gait generation, and motion control. The dynamic and anthropomorphic robot with intelligence, or Darwin, has evolved over time, becoming a sophisticated and intelligent bipedal robot. Three versions of Darwin have been developed, each generation an improvement on the one before. The initial design study was performed on Darwin Zero to see how to interface with the servo motors of the robot. Software developed at Romella is controlling the robot shown over a serial RS-485 network. With great ease, the program can make the robot stand up and even walk. However, this first version of the robot does not use any rate gyros or force sensors. The result? To create a stable walking robot, simulations were developed and then used to aid in generating motion. From kinematic and physical models of Darwin 1, Darwin 0's successor, and sophisticated graphical user interfaces to make full use of the robot's abilities, gates generated in other math packages like Mathematica were imported and simulated as an OpenGL model. Simulating motion and gates in software was much more efficient than testing gates on the actual robot hardware. The result was accelerated development and research of gate generation, which led to the more evolved Darwin 1. Combining developed software and a rate gyro in Darwin's chest for balance, Darwin now uses its sensor feedback to get up and then walk without falling down. The next stage in development was adding intelligence to Darwin. Darwin 2 has the same features as its predecessors and more, including IEEE 1394 cameras, an onboard PC 104 Plus computer running LabVIEW real time, kinematically spherical joints in the hips and shoulders, and powered by lithium polymer batteries. The cameras are mounted on a pan tilt unit so the robot is able to track objects. The software shown here identifies and then localizes an object. This is an actual view from the robot's camera as it simultaneously walks and tracks a ball. Combining Darwin's new intelligence with its balanced gait, Darwin can quickly learn how to perform complex tasks like playing soccer. Darwin's behavior evolved so that it could qualify as the first and only U.S. humanoid for the International Autonomous Robot Soccer Competition, RoboCup. Go! This video was presented by Romella, the Robotics and Mechanisms Lab at Virginia Tech.